Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I have a book that we're going to be taking a look at, which is this one here, Spectrum Machine Language for the Absolute Beginner. I'm sure a lot of you are probably already familiar with this book. It's been around a long time, and I'm pretty sure it's available as a free download PDF as well. But the interesting thing about this book, in addition to what a good book it is for beginners learning Z80 assembly language and machine code, because when it refers to Spectrum Machine Language, it is obviously referring to Z80 machine language because the Spectrum uses a Z80. But this book, uh, as I was saying, is interesting because although it's a very old book, it was actually, let's see if it says the original print date here. Uh, well, it doesn't have the original print date, but this one says copyright 2020. And this book is a lot older than 2020. It's been around a long time, it must be since the 80s. But this book, it actually has new versions available for purchase. If you want a hard copy like this, you can order uh, a new print of it. So it's kind of cool to be able to get an old book that's been newly printed and it's all brand new and nice looking. So that's an interesting, cool feature of this book is that you're able to order a brand new version of it. And the other thing is that this book is just actually a really good book for beginners. And I'll just, um, there's no really diagrams too much in it. There are some little kind of uh, cartoons in it, but they're not really descriptive of anything that the book is teaching you. It's just kind of fun little diagrams that they have, little cartoons that make the book fun to read. And it's really cool. It's really well written. And it uh, has a way of describing assembly language and machine code programming that goes from a progression from easy to more advanced. And I'll just give you an idea of what kind of topics are in the table of contents. <clears throat> it says basic machine language concepts, the way computers count, how information is represented, a look into the CPU. Uh, it talks about how the CPU uses its limbs because it uses an analogy comparing a CPU to a person having limbs and digits and fingers that it uses for counting. So it kind of personifies the CPU with human limbs, but that makes it kind of fun. And let's see what other topics it has here. It says flags and their uses, counting up and down, one-handed arithmetic, logical operators, uh, loops and jumps, use of subroutines, block operations, register exchanges, bit set and resets, rotates and shifts, in and out, binary coded decimal, interrupts, restarts, and it has a section here called planning your program and features of the spectrum, as well as it contains a listing for a game called Freeway Frog. So it goes through how to program this example game that they've included in this book. And then of course it has some appendices here, spectrum key input table for reading the keys on the keyboard, screen display map, character set table, decimal hexadecimal conversions. Well, this one says FALG operation summary, but I think they mean flag operation summary. Well, I know they do because when you turn to that section, it's titled flag operation summary. And then it has Z80 instructions by opcode and Z80 instructions by mnemonics. So I'll just give you a taste of what the book sounds like when you're reading it so you can see if it's uh, a type of writing style you think you would enjoy but of course you can just download it from the internet and you can read it for free if you like um, but it says the beginning this book is designed as an introduction to the field of machine and assembly language programming for the Sinclair ZX spectrum but a lot of the information in this book does apply generally to the Z80 microprocessor so you don't actually need to own a ZX spectrum to get something out of this book it may be that you are coming to this book with no clear idea of what machine language programming is all about. You may not even know what machine language is. You may not even be aware that there is a difference between machine language and assembly language, nor indeed how they differ from programming in BASIC. Don't worry and don't be frightened by the jargon. We will explain everything step by step. And that's pretty much true for this book. They do go through and explain things step by step covering all those different topics that I mentioned and more than that as well. And so I think it's a it's a good introduction, particularly for programmers who haven't 
uh, had much exposure to assembly language or machine code programming. And the font in this is really old school. It looks like it was written <laughs> on a typewriter. It's look, it looks really cool. So, but it's, it's not difficult to read though. I mean, the, the font is readable and it's a good quality book. So I would recommend this book for any beginners who are interested in learning how to program in machine code and assembly language for the Z80 microprocessor, particularly in relation to the Sinclair Spectrum computers. And this is called Spectrum Machine Language for the Absolute Beginner, edited by William Tang. And like I said, you can order brand new copies of this, either on eBay or Amazon or maybe other places, I'm not sure. Or like I said, I think you can download a free PDF version as well. So just a quick intro to this book. I recommend it. If you're interested in the subject, check it out. And I hope you learn more about Z80 assembly language and machine code programming.